So for this five-point Likert scale, and this is the scale, so we have one poor strongly disagree, two four disagree, three four neutral, four four agree, and five four strongly agree. Then for this table A, and there are 50 respondents, so from question number one, from 50 respondents, there are 10 respondents strongly disagree, 4 respondents disagree, 11 respondents neutral, 15 respondents for agree, and 10 respondents for strongly agree. Then for question number 2, from these 50 respondents, there are 19 strongly disagree, 13 disagree, 12 for neutral, 3 for agree, and also 3 respondents strongly agree. Then for question number 3, so from these 50 respondents, there are 3 strongly disagree, 3 disagree, 9 for neutral, 21 for agree, and 14 strongly disagree. So first, we need to compute the weighted average or the weighted mean. So from this data, we need to multiply this data by its weight. So for strongly agree, the weight is 1. So this is times 1, times 1, and times 1. Then for disagree, the weight is 2. So times 2, times 2, times 2. Then for neutral, so times 3. Then for agree, times 4. And for strongly agree, times 5. Then to solve now for the weighted average, so this is 10 times 1, this is 10. 19 times 1, that's 19. And 3 times 1, that's 3. Then this 4 times 2, this is 8. 13 times 2, that's 26. And 3 times 2, that's 6. And for this 11 times 3, this is 33. 12 times 3, that's 36. 9 times 3, this is 27. Then 15 times 4, this one is 60. 3 times 4, that's 12. 21 times 4, this is 84. Then for this 10 times 5, that's 50. 3 times 5, this one is 15. And 14 times 5, this one is 70. Then to interpret now this data using this 5-point Laker scale from the weighted average. So to solve for the weighted average, so we need to add all these product. So we have 10 plus 8 plus 33 plus 60 plus 50 then over the observed value. So these are the observed value. So we have 10 plus 4 plus 11 plus 15 plus 10. So we have 10 plus 8 plus 33 plus 60 plus 50 then equals then divide by the sum of these numbers so open parenthesis then we have 10 plus 4 plus 11 plus 15 then plus 10 close parenthesis so the weighted average is 3.22 so for question number 1, the average is 3.22 and this 3.22 from the scale belongs to this scale. So that's 3.22. So therefore, for question number 1, most of the respondents are neutral. Then for question number 2, so again, we need to compute the weighted average. So first, we need to add these numbers. So we have 19 plus 26 plus 36 
plus 12 plus 15 then over so you can just divide this one by 50 because we have this 50 respondents and if we add all these numbers so this is always equal to 50 so we have now 19 plus 26 plus 36 plus 12 plus 15 then equals then divide by 50 so that's 2.16 so for question number 2 the average is 2.16 and 2.16 belongs to this scale so from 1.81 to 2.60 so therefore for question number 2 most of the respondents disagree then the last one per question number two so to compute the weighted average so add all these numbers so we have three plus six plus twenty seven plus eighty four plus seventy then divide by fifty so we have three plus six plus 27 plus 84 then plus 70 equals then divide by 50 so that's 3.8 or 3.80 so for question number 3 the average is 3.80 and 3.80 belongs to this scale that's 3.42 to 4.20 so therefore in question number 3 most of the respondents agree then to find out the overall average so just add all these averages so we have 3.22 plus 2.16 plus 3.80 equals then divide by threes because we have this three numbers so that's divide by three so that's 3.06 so the overall average is 3.06 and 3.06 belongs to this scale so therefore for overall for table a most of the respondents are neutral so most of the respondents for table a are neutral.